Okay, so you just made your pinch pot. You added your name and number on the bottom, and it's kind of flat on the side. What you're going to do is we're going to now learn to attach pieces. So with your extra clay, this is where you're going to make your sculpture pieces. So you could start with something simple, like an eye. And you don't want it to be too thick because it will explode. But you can just roll that sphere again. Use one of those old clay pencils or tools. Put a hole in it. There is an eye. Same here. So I'm going to show you how to attach pieces in this video in case you forgot. So I'm just going to make two simple eyes. Remember, make all of your pieces and attach them first. And then after it's all done, then you can add more details. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pinch pot and I'm going to put it on side and smush it down a little bit. So now when I look at it, it kind of looks like a mouth and it's going to be on its side. On the part that you're going to want to attach, you don't just put clay on top of there. In order to get it to stick and to actually attach, there's two things. One, you want to put some score marks. Those are just like little lines or bumps in your clay that helps it to glue. And where you're going to attach it, same thing, some little bumps. Then there is some super wet clay. This is called slip. Or you can use one finger of water. So I'll see the one finger of water and a tiny bit of slip that's like a glue. Put it where you want. Put your hand underneath where you're attaching. Put your clay on. And wiggle jiggle that piece. So now it is attached. Like I said, the eyes and stuff, we're going to add the details at the end. So get all of the pieces you want to attach first. I'm going to show you to attach like some simple things. Score marks. Where you're going to attach it, some score marks, just a few. Some slip on those score marks. And like the glue. Stick it and wiggle it. As you can see, my hands are still inside there, holding on to the part that I'm attaching to. All right. If I want to fix up those eyeballs, now that they're attached, I can always go through, fix them. Other things that might be fun for you to add to your little clay animal or monster, depending on what you designed. Um, tongues are easy. You can just roll out, show that again, I'm sorry. Roll out a coil. That's just, and you can flatten it with your hands. All right. Tongue to tongue. I'm going to add that line in there. Don't worry about your clay being perfectly smooth. If it has some cracks in it, that's okay. Because you'll smooth it out at the end. Don't worry about smoothing right now. Those are those score marks. I'm going to attach my tongue inside. So I'm going to put a few score marks in here. A little bit of slip. Push it on, wiggle it, good. Okay, and I know you're gonna wanna smooth all this stuff out, but please wait till the end to smooth it out. Attach all of the pieces first, and then you can smooth it out. So far this is what my little, kind of make, I think it looks kind of like a frog. You can add ears, you can add nostrils, you can add anything you want. You can dig into the clay and you can add pieces onto the clay. So that is my finished little project. I kind of made a little frog looking thing. Maybe I'll make a fly on his tongue for a tiny detail. Like a tiny little fly. I'm having too much fun. Little slips, score marks. Little fly on his tongue. Eating some bugs. <laughs> all right last but not least once you have them all done for this to grow some hair we have to make more score marks on it so that the chia seeds have places to attach so on the top you're just going to add some lines by simply holding your thing that's why we didn't smooth it all out anywhere you want the chia pet to grow some hair mainly on the top make some lines 
it's another reason we're doing like animals and monsters so they can be fuzzy. All right. And that is it for attaching and creating your little pinch pot animal slash chia pet.